Hi guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnegi.net which is my blog and here in this video I am going to introduce you guys with my complete reference of microservices series. Now this edition uh, is going to be a six uh, segment series but before that let me discuss about myself in a quick uh, short note. So I am Rahul Sai and having uh, more than 15 years of experience in uh, you know web development. You can reach out to me via any of these channels which is listed here and apart from that uh, you know all these uh, channels are listed in the video description as well and all the links uh, whether it's a github link or the uh, course link is already mentioned in that particular you know the video description as well so let's jump into that video description as well like the complete microservices series description rather so you will be uh, you know starting with this creating dotnet core microservices using clean architecture so this is the very first segment 15 hour of course wherein you will be uh, designing each and every bit of e-commerce microservices using clean architecture right from the blank slate so once it is done, we are going to uh, switch to the second course, which is going to securing microservices using Identity Server 4. And once we have secured our microservices, then what we'll be doing is we'll be applying all uh, cross-cutting concerns. Uh, let's say whether it's a logging concerns via Seri log or centralizing that log using that ELK stack. Uh, so that we'll be implementing in that particular context itself. We will also be implementing this correlation context ID generator. So you will be implementing your own context ID generator there. On the other part of that, on the fourth segment, what you will be doing is, uh, you know, utilizing this versioning uh, piece here. Like, so you will be putting different versioning on that top of microservices. Let's say our client wants to have uh, a different version of API. So how do you support that? So these factors we are going to discuss in this particular course. And post that we are going to build that, uh, you know, SPA framework or the uh, front end side of this particular uh, side using this Angular application itself. In this case, is Angular 15 is utilized and in upcoming sessions, obviously, it will be upgraded, but uh, that will be building from scratch and will be consuming all these microservices there. Then the last bit of this is the deployment part, which we are going to see that how we are going to deploy this uh, to, you know, Kubernetes uh, locally and into that Azure Kubernetes uh, services as well, uh, which is obviously on Azure itself. During this journey, you will be uh, also seeing this Helm charts in practices and uh, uh, plus you will be having the bonus content of service uh, a mess as well using Istio pattern itself. So I hope you are going to uh, you guys are going to like this journey. But before that, uh, before I conclude, let's have a glimpse of uh, that, you know, different technological suites which we are going to. Uh, put together under one umbrella so you guys are going to you know connect the dots between all these technology suites and this is not the limited part there is going to be many more of that so let's jump on that particular course itself thanks for joining me